Alrighty guys, welcome back to another eCash video. Um, today we're going to be discussing uh, the Monsterverse. Now, I've been wanting to talk about this for quite some time now, as uh, it deserves to be heard. So, as we all know, coronavirus happened. Uh, it, it pushed back so many movies, uh, so many things, events... It, and especially for kaijus in general, it pushed back a lot of things. Here I have the official um, Monsterverse, Monsterverse uh, image. And as we can see... Oh, God, I switched. <laughs> That's my bad. If we take a look here, we can see Godzilla vs Kong was meant to come out 2020. As we all know, it came out earlier this year, March. Uh, so, and then we can see, so let's took, take a look at Phase 1. Now, Phase 1 is probably, it's not the bit, like, it looks good, but it's definitely not going to be the best from what we can see. So, we have Godzilla 2014. This was the very first Monsterverse Legendary Warner Brothers production. Uh, this movie took off. It was a huge success. Three years later, we got Kong Skull Island. This movie was incredible. I loved this movie. Uh, it was, I, it, Kong was just amazing. He was so big. It was so cool. Godzilla King of Monsters. I love this movie. I'm going to have to say this is my favorite movie of the Phase 1 era has all of the monsters talking from Rodan to Mothra to King Ghidorah to Bahamut. It has everyone and obviously it has Godzilla and I love the movie. It's great. So and then as we all know Godzilla vs Kong uh, came out earlier this year. Uh, I liked it. You know it wasn't bad. Uh, it was a really good movie. I loved Godzilla and Kong. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Godzilla and Kong, I wish they didn't team up. But at the same time, I understand why they teamed up. Because if they had have killed off Kong or Godzilla, that would have meant no Kong Returns. No King Kong. And he probably wouldn't have been in Destroy All Monsters. So that's four more movies that would have made millions. Just because they wanted to kill off him. Just for a movie. Now, I'm not going to say that this was a good thing. But it was a financial good choice. Obviously, a lot of fan, uh, fans were disappointed. that Because it obviously said one will fall in the trailer. Meaning one will die. Um, so, it was either going to be Godzilla who would die, or Kong who would die. But they both teamed up and did a Batman vs Superman on Mecha Godzilla, Which we all practically knew, but at the same time, I'm still a little, you know, upset. But, you know, I'm happy now at the end of the day, because now we have Kong and Godzilla still alive for some great movies. So that's the Phase 1 era. Moving on to Phase 2. Phase 2 is probably going to be, it's going to be a heck of a year. Now, remember, coronavirus happened. Godzilla vs. Kong was meant to come out way back in May 2020, but obviously it came out March 2021. This is all because of coronavirus. And as we can see, we were meant to be getting Rodan this year. Yeah, we were meant to be getting a whole Rodan movie. Uh, so, th yeah, there's going to be a lot of spoilers for Godzilla vs. Kong, because I'm going to be discussing a lot about it. So, another spoiler, Rodan d doesn't show up once in Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, none of them do. It's just about Godzilla and Kong, obviously. But Rodan, surprisingly, isn't in it. Which is a little weird, because Rodan ended up being like a sidekick to Godzilla, in Godzilla King of Monsters. But he just doesn't appear at all. So... 
maybe we're going to learn more about what happened to Rodan that is now that he's getting his own movie in the MonsterVerse. Uh, that was meant to be coming out this year. So this means of probably all of these movies are going to be pushed back a year ahead. So Rodan probably going to come out 2022 and Kong Returns going to be coming out 2023 and it's just a year ahead all of them. Um, so yeah, Rodan. Uh, let's talk about Rodan the movie. So we all know Rodan, uh, a great uh, titan. Let's take a look at Rodan. So for those who don't know, this is Rodan. Uh, well, this is Titanus Rodan. That's high say. But uh, so Rodan is basically just a big, well, you could say a big fire pterodactyl. Uh, but I'm talking big, like massive. He is actually a size evolution. So he's he, he's definitely a strong kaiju. Um, so yeah, he he will be getting his own movie. That's gonna be good. Um uh, I lost my train of thought. Okay, Kong returns. Uh so with this movie I have a lot of thoughts. I almost feel like they're just doing this because they couldn't think of anything else to do. Uh, because, like, I I understand, because I've, I like Godzilla more than Kong, so I, you know, I'm not going to complain about getting a Godzilla 3. But, you know, Kong Returns, why? Like, I would have loved to see a the Son of Kong remake. But just Kong returns, it's like, what's gonna happen? Uh, maybe they go back to, maybe he returns to the real Skull Island. Or maybe something happens and he returns to Tokyo and leaves his world. Because uh, in Godzilla vs Kong, spoiler, he goes to, I forget the name of the place. He goes to a uh, different world realm thing so yeah kong returns probably gonna be him coming back to tokyo to take someone down don't know who that could be but obviously it won't be godzilla because godzilla and kong you know they're homies now they're chill but next year after that possibly the one movie i'm most excited for out of all of phase two is mothra now for those who don't know, I love Mothra. I love Titanus Mothra, and I love Heisei Mothra. I'm gonna be honest, I like Heisei Mothra a little more. I j she's just awesome. She's a big moth queen. Like, look at that. So, this obviously means uh, Mothra confirmed laid eggs, because we all know, obviously... Mothra, she died in King of Monsters. She sacrificed herself for Godzilla, and that's how he got his thermo powers. So, yeah, she dies, but we all know that in the original era, she would lay eggs. So then, before she died, so then the Mothra species, well, it would never die out. Uh, but we thought that wasn't the case for this one, this case, because after Godzilla vs. King of Monsters, we don't see it for another uh, f uh, four, four movies. I mean, three movies. But uh, obviously, something happens. Maybe it's a Mecha Mothra. Maybe it's an egg. I'm tipping it's an egg. Didn't mean to go on that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to that a lot. So that's uh, Mothra. Probably going to be coming out 2024. Okay, Godzilla 3. I just want to say, this one's just a straight up cash grab. Alright, there, there's no reason for them to make a Godzilla 3, I mean, besides the fact that they just want money. Because, obviously, everyone loves Godzilla, and they just, well, it makes sense. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, I love Godzilla, I'm happy they're making Godzilla 3. But at the same time, if it's just going to be like a bad movie, just him taking down a kaiju, same old, same old, what was the point? I would have loved to see a reboot rather than 
a future MonsterVerse movie. Like, you know, it just doesn't... But Godzilla 3, no one really knows what it's going to be about, because we're getting Kong Returns, and then Godzilla 3. So... Well, I don't know, really. It, 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 it sounds like it will be a good movie. But, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for the best, you know. I know they won't let us down. I, I know it's going to be cool. Okay, Monster Island. Now, for those who don't know, Monster Island, well, you could almost call this a reboot. But Monster Island, this is not it. Uh, <laughs> Godzilla. Yeah, that was, I don't know what that was. Monster Island, uh, it's actually a real Godzilla thing, so that's cool, so it's kind of a reboot, but kind of a new movie, it'll probably be a new movie at the same time, don't know who's going to be in it though, Godzilla and Kong might not be in it, uh, we might, like, Biolante might be in it, like, who knows? I'd love to see Biolante be a part of the official MonsterVerse, like, that'd be sick, because Biolante is my favourite kaiju, so, that would be cool. So yeah, Monster Island, that, that, that will be a cool, I know that will be a huge success, I can already tell. Okay, Phase 3. Now, I want to have a little talk about Phase 3. Obviously, I know Go Godzilla can't go on forever, it can't go on for eternity, I know that, but if it, this is meant to be ending 2029, what comes after that? Like, is it there just no more Godzilla? Like, they can't just leave us in the dust. I mean, like, I, I, cause I, Kaiju's are my life, and you know, they're just going to kill them off, I mean, you know, it's kind of a dick move, Legendary. But, I know, they can't keep it on forever, and this is all we need. But, enough about that, Phase 3 first movie. So, we're finally getting a King Kong. Not just Kong, we're getting King Kong. They're finally resembling that he's a king. Like, Hello, it's not Kong, he's King Kong. So, obviously, we should all know King Kong uh, 2005. Possibly one of the best movies of 2005. I love this movie. And I don't care what you say, That this is the bi best Big Monkey movie. This is the best Kong. I love this Kong. This Kong is the most gorilla-looking I just love it. He may not be big. He may have died to planes. But at the end of the day, he is still a king. And you've got to appreciate this movie. I love it. He is a absolute beast. So, obviously, I know he, he's not going to be in this. Uh, it's it's going to be this uh, new modern day Kong. And I'm, I'm more about the designs. I don't know how I feel about the new Kong. I love the new King Kong design. It's a big monkey. But I just, like this. This is what I think of King Kong. But if you were to tell me King Kong, I wouldn't think of the big monkey. I'd think of the, the, the big gorilla. Because he's a king. Like, but okay. King Kong. So, I'm thinking this movie is where Kong gets his king title, hence the name. Uh, and my thoughts on this are his species isn't his species isn't fully extinct, and he's not the only big monkey gorilla. Uh, there's, and I'm thinking that there's other Kongs like him. Whether it be female or male, there's a. I'm thinking there's going to be a bunch of them together, uh, and you know something happens and he earns his king title, which makes him the real King Kong. 
Okay, so that movie, that movie will be good. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, now here's a movie I didn't expect. Varan, or Varan, however you want to pronounce it. For those who don't know, Varan is a kind of lizard armadillo flying thing. A, a guana, Komodo dragon. I don't know. But he's he's like a lizard, alright? Uh, he's a lizard who can fly. Uh, we haven't gotten a modern day picture of Varan. Uh, so he's going to get a whole new design. Because obviously we have a new modern day Rodan, or you can call it Titanus. So we have Titanus, uh, Godzilla, Kong, Rodan, Mothra. We have all of them. We haven't got a Titanus in Varan though. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing a whole new Kaiju kind of basically. That'll be really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing a movie about him. Don't know what that could be about. Maybe they're gonna do like an like Zilla 1998 and a, a Komodo dragon gets mutated by radioactive powers and becomes the one and only Varan. So yeah, that, that'll be a good movie. Okay, here's where I don't understand. Why? 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 You, we already were disappointed in Godzilla vs Kong when their fight was interrupted by this motherfucker, Mechagodzilla. Why is he getting another movie? Why couldn't he get his own movie? I would have loved to Mecha, for Mecha Godzilla to get his own movie instead of Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla. But straight away, I think I already know what's going to happen. Uh, obviously, because now we have a new modern day Mecha Godzilla. This is the one we all know and love. This motherfucker, well, he just appeared as a cameo. But this guy, that's his back. This guy here. <laughs> This is the new and improved Mechagodzilla. If you ask kids these modern days, uh, what's Mechagodzilla? You think of that. But all the OGs, you know, we think of this. But how am I going to call myself an OG? I haven't been alive long enough to see this guy on the big screen or anything like that. But enough talk about that. Mechagodzilla vs. Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Okay, so already. I think I know what the plot could be. Obviously, people are making... Someone's making a new... Another Mechagodzilla. Obviously, they're not just going to be an original Mechagodzilla. I'm thinking it could be a Mechagodzilla with the Kairu. Or... Or, just hear me out. It could be... Like, it could be like a... Have the absolute... I think it was called the Absolute Zero Cannon. And it could do the same thing to Godzilla, or something like that. But yeah, that that that, that movie, a bit confused on why. But you know, I'm looking forward to it. I uh, hope Mecha Godzilla, this Mecha Godzilla, has got a new design, not just a complete reball of this one. But at the end of the day, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, now we're going on to the last two of the current day. Monsterverse. Destroy All Monsters Part 1, Part 2. Wow. Um, yeah, this movie is going to be insane. So, you might remember Destroy All Monsters, the original. You want to know what was amazing about this movie? That it was literally all monsters. So, what does that mean? All monsters? All monsters? I think that means we're going to be getting Kong, Godzilla, somehow we're getting another Ghidorah, Biolante, Mothra, Rodin, Varan, Angrius. We're getting them all. Uh, and obviously they're getting into an almighty battle. For some reason, some way I don't know but there's a reason they're all fighting um oh I didn't mean to do that 
but we're actually getting a part series. We're getting a part one, part two kind of deal. Uh, this doesn't make me mad, but, like, I understand. It doesn't make me mad. I know why we've got to have two parts, because it's probably not big enough, obviously. Because Godzilla vs. Kong, it went for an hour and a half. So, probably each of these movies will go for around two hours. It's four hours. Can't put that in one movie. Um, so, that will look good. I'm... I'm excited for this movie. I want to see a modern day Biolante. I beg. This is all I want. Biolante in the modern day monsterverse. How sick would that be? Something like that. Like, see? The modern day Godzilla with a new Biolante. That would just be insanely amazing. So, I'm hoping, if this movie, if these movies have Biolatte instant 100 out of 10, maybe even 1,000 out of 10, cool, we're getting, uh, but G Ghidorah, uh, hello, how are we getting Ghidorah? I'm kind of confused, uh, he's dead, so I don't know how he's coming back, but you know, Oh, hold on. Just add Mecha to that fancy name. And you get this beast. I think we're getting a connection here. Perhaps we could get a Mecha Ghidorah. Even though he was fully disintegrated by Thermo Godzilla's Thermo Pulse. But you know, we could still get a Mecha Godzilla somehow, some way. I don't know. Uh, that would be cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So, both those movies, they're going to be basically the same thing. I'm thinking some monster kaijus are going to be in this movie, and then others are going to be featured in the other. Or maybe some will be shown in this movie, and then the, the rest and all of them will be shown in this movie. And these are the last movies of the Monsterverse. So, they could all die. I'm talking Godzilla and Kong die as well. I don't know, but something's gonna. Ha oh, didn't mean to click that. So <laughs> something's gonna happen, which is gonna be cool. So I have high hopes for this. These movies are gonna be insane. I'm really hoping for the best. Uh, so we have these now. The problem with Phase One is you notice something. We have Godzilla, Kong, Godzilla, Godzilla vs. Kong. There's no other movies about other any other kaiju, except for the main two. And then they just did a two-on-two, one-on-one uh, -on -one fight. But the other phases is where it gets exciting. We're getting a Rodan, Mothra, Varan, uh, and Monster Island movie. Monster Island, I'm guaranteeing it will have other kaiju. And destroy monsters. I'm just like 100% sure that it will have like uh, all the kaiju. So that's my thoughts on the monsterverse. So I'm looking forward. I have high hopes for the monsterverse. I want them to continue the monsterverse. Seriously, there's no reason to stop. Godzilla vs Kong. How much did Godzilla vs Kong? Make? How much did Godzilla vs. Uh, no, uh, this. 60 million. Now, you want to know the funny thing? That may seem small. 60 million dollars during a pandemic. That is insane. It, it's just as good as 100 million or over. Getting that much money in a pandemic is not something to laugh about. That is insanely good. Like, where some countries, I'm in Australia, so I'm not drinking myself, but right now we're not in lockdown pandemic. We have it, but it's not bad. Other countries like USA and countries like that, 
they're really bad with coronavirus. So I wish, hope you all are dealing fine with it. Um, I'm sorry to he uh, hear that. But yeah, that's insanely good considering that's going on. So yeah, it's not much, but it's a lot when you think of a pandemic ongoing. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the MonsterVerse movies. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you have any ideas for what these movies that we know nothing about could be about, uh, and your theories for the plot or story, whatever you want to call it, leave your ideas and theories in the comment section below. Uh, consider subscribing and liking, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.